All right, good morning, guys. Good morning, I'm tripping. It's afternoon. We got us a wicked, wicked rollover. What kills us is this horrible angle, man. We're up here deep in Beverly Hills. And there's no room to station the trucks. There's no room to even back up to it, but we're gonna try using flipper. This might not work. A lot of people ask, why does flipper have that, uh, the tag axle on the back that goes up? This is why. Hulk would never be able to do that turn. That axle going up like that makes it turn like a Cadillac as big as this truck is. And I'm screwed here because I can't go any further. Two more of these and then we'll be able to back them up or try at least. Good job flipper, not for the hard part. This is a 45 degree slope. So more than likely he's gonna bottom out immediately but we gotta try. Go forward, drop the axle, and then lock the lock the axles. Yeah, that's not working, man. The grade is just way too steep even with wood and everything. <laughs> Negative. All right, to clear traffic and not close anything down, I had to move Hulk here. And there's no way to back up to it, so we're gonna try something. Is to get a lot of vertical lift and kind of bring it to us. As close as we can and just use flippers 42 feet of boom to flip it solo off the back. All right, we're in the best position. We're probably gonna get it. So there's traffic can flow through here. Here, oh, by the way, this is deep in Beverly Hills. If you guys want to Google this street name in Beverly Hills, I love doing this in my videos. Davies Drive, D-A-V-I-E-S Drive, 1400. Just Google the houses in this area. Two bed, three bath, moderate size, four or five million, man. Just to say you live in Beverly Hills, crazy. So the plan is uh, just to max out flippers boom height, drop it to 30 degrees, and try to attach to the end of that boom. And then we'll run out the deck winches to also attach to the track in the boom. And we'll get a tiny bit of lift while dragging it to us and bring it down some. They said this thing leaked out all the oil, hydraulic, whatever. So it's dead in the water anyways.
Five eighths. I have half inch on the opposite side. <laughs> no, my friend, do not. Ideally would be... Huh? For the other deck winch, that hole you mean? I was thinking of here. With the platinum swing coming out this way? Yeah. Are those jagged? Run it through? Run it through the, the thing here? Right here? We could, but... My only concern is that if we start winching, what if this thing spins? And it actually becomes a... Parallel with the unit. Let me see. There's one on this side. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, but I don't need high hooks. Around what? Around here? Through the track. Because we'll hog this part in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Grab hook it on one side, bring it up the other. We could grab it from here. With the chain, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. That way, in case the signal's right up, I'm not worried about the chain. That'll be the deck there, too. Alright. Alex and Josh left. Josh, we have a rollover. A little bit more, right there. Josh, you say Josh. Josh, it's fire like jammed in the back and it doesn't equalize. Oh yeah, no wonder. It's not gonna equalize right there. Ready? It's, it's empty. It's, it's empty? I just connected it. 
Watch it does, boo. Oh! Huh? We'll see right now. Alright, I was all hands on deck right now with Alex. Very steep, so it's hard to hold this in one hand and record. But... We're gonna do a quick test first using uh, flippers deck winches. We got one to the end of the boom and then one on the track. He's gonna go in and see what it does. Now it's physically impossible if you just look at it for it to break tension and slide all the way down. There we go, I see it moving. Oh yeah. That's cool. Just keep going. Don't stop. Slipper, you are so ridiculously strong, man. Just keep going till it doesn't want to go no more. Anything helps. It's not pulling too much. We couldn't get our synthetic on the track. It's just way too jagged and cumbersome to set up the, the sleeves. So we got a 5 8 chain on that part. And right here at the boom, we do have our uh, Bailey's 5 8 grommet sling. And you see all the earth moving underneath it? Oh yeah, once this thing gets in flipper territory, it's game over. How's it feeling? Well, it helps that we're going downhill too. This dirt is very soft, which also works in our favor, plus going downhill. Keep going. Good. Beautiful, man. So that was step one. 
I want to say that was the hard part. Yeah, we got a close to our boom. And you're at what, 55 degrees? Yeah. Shh, extend out fully? It's already, it's already out fully. If I put it out 30 degrees, I'll be right over the cab. I'm gonna see. Which is perfect, dude. Now that you're here, is there a way to get Hulk involved? Will we even need Hulk? All right, so you can kind of see right there that big old black puddle is all the oil and stuff. So Alex is just going to do the pre-pick. We're going to lift from right there. The same spot that he, he pulled it with the deck winch. Get some air and then maybe crib it here with some wood to get our shopping. Is that for praying or what? No, please don't let them mess this up. Right. Oh, it's good. Cable down on that one? Yeah, cable uh, boom in and cable in here at the same time. Boom in and cable in, keep tension on it. So you're centered over. Right there. That's pretty good. Let's see what that does. Just like nothing, huh? Yeah. You know what, too? We're so used to working off the side, you're off the back, you're at your absolute strongest now. Side of it. Well, unless we go through here. No, because you gotta figure as it comes over this way, it's gonna pop open backwards. Oh, that's right. Or pop it off. True. So the only way to do it is if we can, uh, yeah, see, that's an old go. What if you grab it through here? What is that, the cylinder? Yeah. How strong is that thing, sir? Very strong. Yeah? Okay. You sure? That's, oh, yeah, yeah, this pin is super strong. I mean, we'll be grabbing it from here, but I guess it'll be the same thing, no? It'll be pressure in here. Yeah, but your line of action will be up there. I right hear. So we either grab it from the pan, or is there room through here? No. I thought of something wicked. What's up? Oh, what did I think of it sooner? Let's use a recovery strap. Bailey's? Yes, we'll go to that pin that I've always wanted right there. Uh-huh. We'll probably get some more height, and we'll cradle this whole thing. The strap will protect it, because it's 12 inches. On here? It won't crush it? We'll, we'll start it from there and we'll come out this way. No, the strap will not, not, this, not the 12 foot wide, 12 inch wide one. No? Try to get more lift. A lot more lift. Show you what I mean. Yeah? Yeah. Those uh, blue ones? Back there. 15s? I got the 26s. I got the 15s. Oh. Josh, how much do these machines cost? A million. Yeah? Mm -hmm. One million. Damn. No, because they were like 300,000. I'm like, it's too crazy to be with you. Uh, <laughs> hey, should I use the blue ones and double them up and use your triangle? For more surface area? Oh, they, they can't do it. They can it might be hard to fit. Well, now they're gonna... to, to, to jiggle in a 15 footer will be easier, but to double it up, you got that double oh. thickness. 
How, let's, first, let's see. How much space is there? God. Oh, for real, huh? Like a piece of rock or something, huh? Maybe we just go higher. You want to double it up? No, whatever. I could do use a single one. No, 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 because you're going to have most of the weight, right? Mm hmm. I mean, how much is that sharp rated for? Uh, now single? 34? Right? I'll get my triangle. Yeah. Put it through there, no? Yeah. Cool. We'll have to go into this too. Yeah, it has to go out through here. <laughs> we should tell me if we want to help out. Stand inside the cab while we turn on the flip it. Get ready to hold the brakes. For real? That should be good. Right here? As it lifts up, it's going to want to slide this way. Okay. How long do they can get it under here? Like right there. Get this one. I don't know. Josh and Alice just left. They left. Yeah. Go for it. Ready. Oh, Alex is so polite. <laughs> so professional. Way better than that cocky Josh kid with the earrings. <laughs> and let me put the chain in here too. I use that one. I use that chain. Oh, that's your lift? Yeah. That's gonna wrap around. I see what you did. I thought you were gonna go to there. To where? To the hook on top? The D ring to the hole. I could. I could use a shorter chain though. No? I got you another one. Yeah. 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 Pull this chain out of the way. There you go. Right there. Yeah. More.
right now. Now pull it. Cool, huh? Yeah. Okay. It's coming up and it's sustaining yeah. right? I wish there was an anchor point too. Okay, so Alex has the, let, let's try the lift, go for it. Before we worry about the catch, I want to make sure this works. Higher. I'm gonna take out my hands. Okay. All right, lift is good. So we use our uh, our brand new Bailey's 26 foot recovery strap, and we doubled it up by using my triangle to a soft shackle. We don't even need the soft shackle, but it's already there. All right, now, what do you think is best for the catch? It's gotta go somewhere on the track. The top point. It's gotta go to the top, huh? Almost like a barrel roll. Almost. All right, let's do it. Top point catch. Top point catch. You think I should help, help each other out with, uh, with the lift on this side? With the auxiliary there, oh, I see what you mean. Absolutely. right? It will help out. 100%. We'll drop it to the second stage. Yeah, right there, and shh. Yeah. Yeah. and we'll lift from there. So you'll have to let out on tension then, and drop the boom all the way. But now we know it works, and I can get rid of this. Now, the, now we, we know we don't need it. Right there. Give me the yellow one. You want me to get the other one? The big one? Two blocks. No, we don't need two blocks. The okay. fact that you'll have uh, this as your lift, you won't need the strength of two blocks. Ooh. Oh. Hey, wey, tomate una foto con el Hulk. Right there, no? That's absolutely beautiful. 
Should we put it at the bottom so it doesn't fight us when it's coming over? It's gonna under this, yeah. right? Which one? Those uh, those foundry hooks? It'll go right there behind that step. It's our pool. Oh yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, because we're gonna be lifting. It's gonna this one's gonna have tension. We'll just let out little by little. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let me get my. Can you have some? I have foundry hooks. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, easy. Ready? Restore. We're gonna need it eventually in 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay, hold it there. Oh yeah. Yeah? Good. Ready? the auxiliary line's kind of over the center where the snatch box it snatch block is that'll keep this thing nice and tight to prevent it from uh, coming down it's a very tricky job Hey Alex, hold that! What? I can't hear you. Keep, try to keep more tension on the aux line. More tension on the aux line so it won't come to, uh, to you. And maybe start rotating. Because you're off your corner kind of technically. It's all good. Oh, what? So letting know what to catch. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't want it to slam. Doing great. Why don't you let that bucket touch? Let it touch? 
Yeah, that way it won't slide back down. Okay, let me go in with that one then, and let me go in with the red one then. Like that. And let out with the... You're doing great. Yeah, it's gonna keep sliding anyways. Now that it's anchored, now you can start to pick it up a little bit, just to help you. Sorry, that's just the catch. Beautiful. Okay, stop. Start dropping the catch a lot. That's loose. There it is. Let me put a little it's more tension great. in it. Alright. There you go. Right, let me boom up a little bit and let me drop the bucket so it doesn't uh All catch, Alex. Once we get it all catch, I mean all on the ground, then we can start re-rigging, you know? All right, start dropping it. Still doing great. Can you let out with the cables and boom up? up higher a little bit higher so we can close that bucket all right keep it there I want to close the bucket <clears throat> One to there? Yes, yep. there was a bucket, right? Yep. Ah. Yeah, in there. Yeah, I forgot about that. Ready? Huh? We'll just run a, we'll run on one chain from there to the bottom. What? Why don't we just drop the ox line? Huh? Uh, we're already here. Oh, we're pulling it up? Yeah. Oh, right. well, we still have to climb up there and take it off. Let's do this. Wrap the chain and I'll do this. Ah. 
He even said it in the beginning too. Yeah. Put it on yours first. Oh, we're gonna need more cable actually. Actually, no. We're cabled out. Let's try this. Right there? Okay, hold on. Let me hook it up. Right there. Hold on. I was pulling that thing. So it won't close? Huh? So it's not closing? No, there's not enough weight. See? I'm just pulling that thing over here, see? We probably have to re-rig, no? No. Well, why don't you just kind of rotate it so the boom gets on the inside of uh, the corner right there when we go forward. Okay. See if that'll work. Do it and boom down. Yeah. Go, 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 go. You're good. The more in the corner you can, the better. Try to swing it a little bit more and just boom down. Boom. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Alright, cables out. There you go. It's leaning, no? Yes. As long as you can get rid of all tension, bro. Just throw up your outriggers like that. Don't even do anything. Now you could all, now you could go a lot forward, and we don't put the, the the boom part. We'll just throw up the outriggers. Go forward. He wants to set it down on the floor? Let me ask him. Let's just swing it over. <laughs> Yeah. Huh? No. The way they want it is here is perfect. Okay. They just want the track facing parallel with the street, the road, the dirt road. So what I'm thinking is we'll just re-rig. You're already way out over the center. Won't you re-rig to a proper spot? As you tighten it, it's gonna spin within your thing. This is gonna go that way. And it's gonna be oh, so they want the tracks facing a one uh, one way straight. They want the track facing straight. So by doing that, that's going to put this bucket in this section right there, which is perfect. When you do that and you rotate it, it'll just put it flush against the K-rail. Yeah. So now that you have no tension on it, we're in a favorable position to re-rig. Okay. Let me drop my drone. Hold it for you. That was my idea from the get go. The way you have this is perfect. Mm -hmm. We'll get a chain here and a chain here. And just pass one strap over, no? And then we'll get rid of the D ring here and pass it to that side. 
That'll lift up this entire side. And then on the other side, since it's turbulent, we'll do the same. Probably the best, fastest, easiest way. I'm so over this. I know. I think we did it, so that was a hard job. Dude. I don't care how you cut it. I'm going to watch this video and hate on 18 different things. No, Josh, why, why would you go there? Uh, I should have gone. I've done that before. really quick Alex went to the top pole that'll give us a nice pivot just pull in with the boom line or both of them I guess at the same time whoa this guy just took out all those trash cans Take a flip or two. oh man everyone else made it even that box truck now go in with the, the boom one and slowly pivot it. Keep going. Go in with the boom more, Alex. It's going the other way. Ready? I'm airborne, no? Almost. You're almost there, dude. Try to boom up slightly. What's it grabbing the teeth? Yeah, try to go in with that one more, please. Alex. Let, let me plant this one and then let me pick up on the other one. See? It's turning, right? It's turning, right? Beautiful, man. Right. right? Good. Now it's facing the exit. Right there's perfect. Drop it. Now from here we already got the light on the boom. All we gotta do is uh lift that up to get rid of that tension on the bucket. about the bucket. Okay. Have no tension. Yeah, no tension. We're, we're gonna have to rig from here. 
Well, if I start letting off pressure, what's gonna go is the pressure's gonna go down and this is gonna slam. What's gonna pivot is those, they're supposed to go up, right? So I would release pressure on those two inner lines. Because with the weight, it has to come up. There's check valves on those two inner lines. So I would, rip, I would uh, start loosening those up. I mean, it's gonna be a lot, but. That's gonna cause a massive spill too, huh? Huh? That's gonna cause a massive spill. It will leak a lot. But that way, at least it stays flat. Unless we turn it on and maybe the check valves open. Oh, he's the operator? Yeah. Ugh. Ven, paisa. <laughs> Venga a bajar el, el baque. Let it down gently as it comes, as the cylinders come across. Hey. Que, que si yeah. la puedes prender. No, okay. Would you be able to lower the boom? That's why, that's why I was telling you guys, if you guys put it like that, the boom would have just sit and then like yeah. a natural anchor, like a pitch. Well, that's how we had it first. We had with the Do bucket down here. here. Do you want to try to jump in and move the arm up? All you have to do is it might this because the problem is you have check valves. That's the only thing that's holding this up is check valves. Yeah. So sometimes by turning the on the ignition and you just hitting Malini hitting it, it opens the valves. Yeah, right. The pressure. Over. And the pre that, all that's all we want to do is that once the pressure goes down, that that leg oh, is going to go down. I'm just worried because the. When hey, you guys look, if you think it's any like crazy, just turn it off. You, well, you're not going to turn it on. You're just going to turn on the ignition, not the actual engine. Okay. Keep clear because. Oh could yeah, just, yeah, guys, move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That I agree. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was dragging the cover down. Okay. <laughs> Not flipping it up. <laughs> I hope this works. It might. I know, right? We had it in the original spot he was talking about. The ignition key doesn't turn on? No it power? Turns, it turns. There's power. The uh -huh. battery's okay. Okay. It just doesn't switch over. It doesn't crank over? That, yeah, it doesn't crank. But you have power, right? I have power. Can you try hitting the levers for it or no? No. Uh, usually what I do is I turn everything on uh -huh. and then I move my controls uh -huh. and it's supposed to let uh, the hydraulic pressure mm. let go and then that would make, the, make mm. it fall. Okay. You want it to turn on? What? No. we drain the hydraulic tank. It won't turn on? It wouldn't be draining the hydraulic tank. It would be the dropping those things. There's check valve, so. But I mean, it's like I said, it's it's a lot of fluid. It's not like, it's not gonna be a little, it's gonna be a lot. It's a lot, yeah. Like spill on the dirt. Well, it's spill on the dirt, but it's gonna be a lot. that's it leave it you're good it's anchored and it's on the floor three points of contact yeah. oh that's beautiful right save so much time let's go home guys <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe you guys are not crazy though yeah como se dice steep in steep is um in espanol bien tipo bien es steep es steep si tipado tipado Steepo, as they say in slang, steepo. Steepo. Inclinado, there you go. In inclinado. inclinado.
Uh, so hopefully Alex captured it on the DJI Action 4, but we were able to start it just to uh, open up the check valves, compress this. Now we got three points of contact, both tracks. Whoa, it looks like I'm leaning. That's how steep it is, look. Horrible angle, very tough job. They're awesome, we would highly recommend. Right. Hear that? Call Pepe's toe for all your big jobs. All right, let me help Alex. What? What is that? Oh, dude, your dad should get one of those. That's a... Dude, your dad rolling shredder. Is that the house right here. That's Dr. Phil's house? Yeah. No way, I didn't know that. Oh, find the drone up there and get him. No. Famous. <laughs> How much is this house? It's up there, huh? Dr. Phil has a nice choice in cars. I don't know. You feel depressed, get a rose. I'm not depressed because I live in Beverly Hills. For real, huh? Watch out. Ready? That's Dr. Phil. Your rigging sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That one, you catch the block, I'll just swing towards you. Okay, I'll catch it with my face. I'm ready, bro. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. One handed. I'm not dumb. Oh, I'm not dumb. <laughs> that sounds like Mike's conversation. I was. I was. Hey. Hey. Ay, me, mi cabeza. Me pegó el flipper. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, stuff like this on a steep grade makes it. Yeah, it's just a bad ramp. Right Look there. at the URS4. Yeah. Oh, That's his wife. That's his wife? She was taking pictures? Yeah? Don't worry, we're good. Let's we'll shoot the drone up there. Yeah, video soon. Yeah, they don't want you working this late, but it's fine. Yeah. And we're able to do it without blocking the street. No, Which, no, we're good, we're good. Even if, no, this is perfect. Even if the inspector calls me, I'll be like, what do you want me to do? What are you guys making, a house up here or what? He's making it. Up, a house up top? Yeah. Massive. This is just a, this this is is a, just property a temporary for like, entrance to our getting up and down. And just like that, we are out of here. We got flipper put away. Helped Alex get all our chain, shackles, straps. Put the ladder away. Oh, look, Dr. Phil's maid. <laughs> she has an Aventador? That's Dr. Phil's compound, believe it or not. Crazy, man. I'm gonna Google it right now. Probably worth a hundred million. All right, let's bounce. You did good, big flipper. This is why you're still king. Ready? Sorry, Hulk. No room for you, buddy. Peace out, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. <laughs>